All right, welcome back. We are here in Crumbling Fair Missoula. And last time we sort of made our way through most of it, took a look at the uh, dra uh, the dragon fight, the optional dragon fight that you get to by jumping down some platforms, realized, yeah, not right now. That fight's completely optional, so you don't have to, you don't have to deal with it at all. Um, I feel like, oh, you know what? I There's one thing I wanted to check. I need to get to the, the bonfire where you, I don't think this is it. Is it it? Basically where, you know, I was getting attacked by all those war hawks and then I ran across a thing and fought a dragon. I don't think this is it. Because I think I missed something. Is it here? I apologize for not knowing. Um, hmm. Oh, the rooftop. Okay. I think I might have missed an ancient dragon, somber, whatever, stone, blah, blah, blah. So I need to just make sure. Hoping the dragon's dead. So I apologize for can't see it. I, I wanted to see if next to the dragon basically I can't remember after I killed the dragon did I explore. And I don't need to explore a ton, I just need to check one spot. There's like a There's a pavilion. Now, I don't know if it's actually... I definitely missed this. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I knew there was something up here and I didn't get it. And... I was wondering if it was. Yes, there we go. Okay, so now that we've, oh, I was going to say, now that we've done that, are, well, while I wait for, oh, now I can get to the map, okay. I feel like we're in decent shape for the ancient sombers, but I just wanted to make sure, because let me, see, nope, wrong, wrong one. Uh, let me see. We've got this one up to 10. But I don't know if we got Rivers of Blood up to 10. Dark Moon Greatsword, maybe. Uh, the end of the game weapon could be a good one. So probably at least two, Rivers of Blood and the end of the game weapon. This one's already at a 10. This one... There's a part of me that wants to do it just for the memories, so to speak. Um, so right now I have one. I think I can get one more. I don't know about two more. So... 
two in total would get Rivers of Blood and the end of the game weapon. This thing... I don't have a lot of souls, but... I'll give this guy a shot, but I always struggle. First thing I'm not doing is staying on his shield side, so that's my fault. <laughs> I mean, being up in his business when I'm trying to do a ranged attack is also my fault. But you don't actually have to fight him. You know, you can run right by and... You know, you can see there's a, there's a boss right by him. The only trick is that... You just have to make sure he doesn't attack you through the fog as they every once in a while can do and then you gotta hope that if you summon Tish and you know I'm going to that he fights the boss and not the guy through the door as he did with one or two caves or something like that Sideways enough. No. So now, this might be too much range and it's going to hit. Completely wrong on that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if I've ever killed that guy. I say ever, like I, I've, I've done two playthroughs to this to this point. And I don't know if he's actually all that much harder than the other ones, or is it just that you have to tackle him solo? Now this is the main boss of this area, it's a two-stage I need to get away from him and let But see again my fear is that Tish is actually fighting What's his name? Now this guy is like your classic two-stager. Um, hmm. So the problem is you don't want Tish to get too beat up in stage one.
Also, I didn't think stage one was going to end there. I thought it might have been one of those where you do the whole health bar thing, so... Kind of got that cool, unrealistic Marvel landing from a jump vibe. Okay, I need to heal up so let me get some distance and then... So now Tish is about to go down, that's not good because... <laughs> Okay, so a couple things. One, <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to get the first stage down faster. Two, I got to help out more in the second stage, and I don't know what kind of damage. Uh, fire, maybe? Nope. So first and foremost, I don't need this. So let's get um, some of that. Don't need that. So let's get... I mean, is it fire? I have no idea. Tish is going after the wrong guy. <clears throat> okay, is so that one... Sorry for clearing my throat there. That one pretty quick, but now I'm... Oh, it's the same kind of thing that he's using. Oh, that's a little... That's not good. That's not good either. <laughs> okay. I think I got about as far that time as the first. So I don't think it's fire. No, that, that does look like... Is there blood fire in this game?
I mean, I guess you could sort of wait for him to walk. It would take forever, but... And then run by him down here so that Tish isn't so distracted by the gate. The other thing is it's my fault. I need to get in the arena a little more before I summon. Is that the only thing? Now, I wonder if this is like going back in time, so to speak, the way you did with the dragon, because like the Colosseum is whole. Problem with, like, I can't even keep up with where he's at. <laughs> a little bit of a risk. This is a dumb risk. So I didn't even get the. So the, the interesting thing about um, this Blasphemous Blade, and like I've been saying, maybe even in the last session, you know, the idea of crutches, like I'm not actually, I'm not actually learning the moves of the bad guy, if that makes sense. Because I'm, oh, the only thing I'm trying to do is like, oh, is there enough of a pause? Should I do it now? I'm not actually, learning how to fight him, I'm just trying to brute force it. Okay, let me get away. Because, yeah, you can see the whole thing is crumbled. This might be a bad... I'm just going to let that one go. And then in the second part, though, you know, it looked like the Colosseum was restored. So I was looking up last night somewhere, and I think that dragon, Placid Ducks, or whatever his name is, was the Elder Lord before the trees, the Elder Tree, or whatever, the Earth Tree, the Giant Tree. So I guess that tree sort of marks a... Oh, that's some... That was terrible. I was trying to figure out, like, you know, can I get past stage one without summoning Tish? And the answer, I mean, I yes, obviously, at some point I could. But, uh, I mean, it's not that... If we can get through phase one pretty quickly, it's not like Tish is all that beat up. Oh, 
Oh, come on. He's facing the other way. This guy looks like the... Um, remember when we were handing the, the death route? I wonder if it's like, you know, just another priest of the order, so to speak, or is it meant to be sort of the same guy in some capacity? Because that guy moves fast as hell like that, the one we're fighting right now. Um, obviously doesn't transform into a stage two, so I guess they wouldn't be the same guy. But it's interesting, so like somehow this cult of death Hmm. Okay. Wow. It's gone completely downhill. Uh, so this cult of death somehow is connected to the prior age of Elder Lores. Elden Lores. Elden Lores. Elden, Elden Lord does. And, um... Somehow, part of their power involves being able to go back to the time before Down stab seems to be uh, a window. I guess you gotta just tank the blades. You got around and stab this guy in the skull. There we go. Where is he? <laughs> Couldn't have timed that worse. Yeah, thank you, Tish. I need a little help here. But now Tish is basically gone. It's interesting how if I can get through the first part of the fight, that's basically as far as I get in the second phase. Like, halfway through the second phase? Is it... Am I being too generous if I say I got two-thirds of the way through the second phase? It's enough to get my hopes up, <laughs> is what I will say. Tish hung in there a little bit longer. Maybe it's because I... Was able to help out a bit once I got my bearings and healed. I do find it annoying to have this guy hitting me through fog gates, but I guess that's the price you pay for not dealing with him. I can start. Tish has hurt more than I'd like. Okay. Can you tank? Oh, you can tank that? 
<laughs> can't tank that. But I tanked the sort of the Melania spin. Again, it's, you know, I haven't seen this fight in a year and a half or something, a year, I can't even remember. Elden Ring, I think, has been out longer than... Well, maybe it hasn't. Like, yeah, I guess, was it like the spring before last? Late winter? I, you know, I have no idea at this point. out enough. Nope, that's bad. I feel like the Blasphemous Blade is the right weapon. You know, this might turn into one of those sessions I had with Demon Souls over on Black Lodge where I just end up beating my head against the thing for <laughs> the whole session. And um, I apologize in advance. It's one of those things I was like, but that's... Um, you know, that's the... I don't watch a ton of... Nope, wrong way. No, that was interesting. Hmm. I walked into that. <laughs> Okay. I don't watch a ton of YouTube, uh, a lot of Souls stuff. I've, I've seen some speedruns, and speedruns, I feel like, and this is what I was saying over at Black Lodge, they give a, a distorted view of what playing these games is like. And for... You know, if people are curious about the game, like, oh, I wonder if this is something I might like. This kind of experience is typical. Now, I know, like, oh, get out of here. Like, I know, like, um,. Some of the guys, they're not with Giant Bomb anymore, but uh, I know like Brad Shoemaker and Vinny Caravella, they would stream their stuff. I, I think they, one of them streamed Demon Souls, one did Bloodborne. And I imagine like those streams were very much like this. I don't know if people watch them or why people watch them, but. And I imagine, you know, sometimes I'll see like Elden Ring playthroughs and each session's like four hours long. And I have to imagine this might be partly why, because they're presenting sort of this real process. But one of the reasons why I wanted to over level was because
Getting really sick of, um... I know the answer, then go kill him. You're taking more heat than I want you to. This is a bad move. But it was a bad move because I was going to now have to heal right off the bat. So now it's interesting. Like this stage. Oh, <laughs> okay. I was going to say this stage. He, it seems like he slows down a little bit with some of his attacks. problem with some of these things is like I have um, you know so you take this uh, incantation burn no flame like how do I even use anything like this uh, because the way these enemies hop around I feel like they would never stay in place long enough for the spell to fire off and register Is that the worst opening I've had? One of them. Okay, distance seems to be a thing with that, okay. Let's see what happens. See, not as much as the Blasphemous Blade, though, right? That's the one downside of the blast. It seems to make... Not only is it a crutch, but it seems to make everything else... How do you choose to... Okay. How do you choose to use anything else over it, in a sense? I mean, if you're this kind of build. Let's, um, let's try this. Well, can we summon here? Randomly mushing buttons like a moron. I never actually thought to try.
I guess it can't hurt, right? Mob. Okay, so it's definitely a human. Let's try it. Can we get a couple of these guys? Second one coming? Maybe not. Oh, okay. Like I said, I've never beaten that guy before. Now, I guess I don't have to worry about him. Phase one complete. Definitely went better. <laughs> I really appreciate that person uh, definitely getting me past the the night outside. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. See who else. I mean, I didn't I didn't do much of anything in that fight. So let's see. Uh, I wonder if they see. Okay. I wonder if they see somebody with a blasphemous blade and they're just like, okay, bro. <laughs> uh, apparently you're new to this. curious what the weapons were that that person was using. It did, it seemed like it had some kind of buff where you started off by, yeah. I wonder what a mimic, I haven't messed with a mimic tier. What does a mimic tier do when you got two blasphemous blades? Should we try it? I have no idea. Yeah, why not? The worst thing, I mean, you know, I don't think I can get much 
but not worse. I, you know, that's that's overstating it. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe what I should do is <laughs> watch what the mimic tier does, so I learn how to play my class. <laughs> Sleep pots. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's going to throw some blasphemous. Nope. <laughs> I can't tell how he's tanking. Let's see if he throws some sleep pots at this guy. <laughs> That'd be funny. He's pretty beat up. Oops, where is he? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look at that. I love that visual of the tree completely engulfed. Like, again, like, are we going to air quote win? Yeah. Is there going to be an unbelievable cost? Yeah. If I understood the story better, could I feel one way or another about it all being worth it? Absolutely. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And I love this touch too, What it, so we're back at the Capitol and huh. and now it's, it's just 
buried in ash. Absolutely buried. And I want to say that if we wanted to go beat the game, I think we could. I'm kind of curious, like, you know, I don't know what episode this is. Episode, like it's a television show. I don't know what part this is. Did I? I did, right? It'd be awkward if I didn't. Well, actually, you know what I should do is I should rest, because I probably have a few souls. What do I got? Uh, 220,000. What was I doing? I was doing this, wasn't I? I probably should get my faith up to, I don't know, like 60. Or I should be upping my vigor. Like, I should be doing something that's going to help me. Besides getting, like, two more points of damage. How much more am I getting? Getting, like, 40? I mean, yeah, I guess it all helps, right? More vigor, more endurance. Got 99,000. Did that, what do you think, did that get me enough? Yeah, just barely. Okay, let's pump it into, I don't know, stamina. Also, since I'm not casting spells, I might not need as many flasks. So, like, that would give me one recharge to uh, get Tish. And then three more for my business. Which seems like that could be enough, right? So yeah, so so you make your way back to the capital. The Erd Tree is done for, basically. Um, I, I'd be curious to know again if I go listen to Bonfire Side Chat what. Uh, why the seal of death or whatever it was that I think it was it's called Marikath is that the guy I just beat the black blade like you know you have to sort of go back in time never can you just leave I never really yeah it's discovered which is interesting like did I just completely or do they redo it because... Oh, is he still here? This poor guy. Bok, the seamster, ready to make a... oh, go I feel like I should... Maybe, maybe it's discovered because it sort of resets this whole level. You know, behind the scenes, it's a quote-unquote new area. I should look up that guy's quest. I've always heard that guy's quest is like... One of the few times where you go, oh, yeah, like... <laughs> it's not a massive, depressing NPC quest. But yeah, it, what I what I like about this is, um, God, the soundtrack. 
Yeah, for games that never have ambient music. To knock it out of the park the first time you give it a shot. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, yay, we won, right? You know, it's hard to avoid all the winning. You know, it's the cost, you know, I mean, you know, the cost is brutal. Which is something, you know, I feel like, um, I feel like earlier Souls games, the ones I've played, they never made it feel like the cost of the cycle or breaking the cycle was all that much. You know, you're just like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, I'm now going to either walk into the dark room or set myself on fire, Dark Souls 1 or, you know. Dark Souls 3, I will say, I mean, this definitely feels like a riff on the DLC ending of Dark Souls 3, which I genuinely love the idea that, you know, you, again, you sort of, how this game sort of plays a little bit with time. I mean, I guess they all do Dark Souls 1 with the DLC and Artorias and stuff like that. But um, the Dark Souls 3 uh, DLC ending where you sort of jump ahead so far into the future. I, I think this is what it is. You see the cycles taken to the sort of the end of the cycles, you know, sort of like the heat death of the universe, but in a Dark Souls game. And this is what it is. It's just there's nothing left from these cycles except ash strewn everywhere and a few stragglers and that's it um but the cycle continues <laughs> you know like but even as you know everything winds down um and I feel like uh Dark Souls 3 And this moment here really nailed that. Somebody above me, below me, I, I missed. So uh, I may pivot away from talking about death to the hot loot. I thought there was like a ancient somber dragon stone or something around here. I thought the stone was down there somewhere. That's why I was wandering around. So there was one of those guys on the platform over here. I wonder if you'd killed him earlier, would he be gone now? Right? He used to be right here. And clearly he's not. I don't have a lot of souls, so I guess if I were going to take them on, it's not the worst time. In these end times, let us worship in peace. No. Get fucked. <laughs> So that's just the kind of 
we were thinking about what we're really doing here, I guess. Let's, what's the, can we summon? Probably not, but, you know, we got 4,000 souls. Who cares, right? How hard could he be? Cut to me dying in the first hit. See, what I needed to do was say, how hard could he be? And then have him do that spin death instantly, chef's kiss YouTube short content. I wonder if there are people out there who are actually not that bad at Elden Ring. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. But, uh... Well, I mean, that's sort of the thing, right? You know, like, are they good enough at Elden Ring that they're able to make that kind of stuff into, like, joke videos? I wonder what happens if you leave. Or whatever we're doing. Yeah. So, okay, where can I... So this is, okay, so the Forsaken Depths is where you get the madness stuff. What's it like going back underground? Like, is it just the same dungeon? Does it change at all? Is it like it never... Happened? Oh, did I miss, uh, miss items? I wonder how hard these guys are now that we're all buffed up with this stupid weapon. Please remain seated, sir. There we go. <laughs> and then I go for the critical hit and it's like, eh, 500. Oh, interesting. I don't actually care. Um, I was just curious what it was like down here. Like, I, I definitely missed a chunk of that. But uh, so, why don't we do this? Why don't we? Why don't we get back here and let's uh, pick this up next time, and uh, we'll see what's up. So, thanks again, uh, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.